Hello, this is Gary. I wanted to show you how to convert these inexpensive solar pathway lights over to RGB for your next Lighterama DMX show, or if you use other DMX software, it should work with it as well. So, first thing we, you got to do is get a few things from the hardware store, and um, after you get those things, then well, you'll need also some RGB light and a, a transformer and a controller. So I'm using a 12 volt transformer, which is waterproof, that I've gotten from Holiday Core. It's 45 watt, so it should uh, light up about 30 of these uh, pathway lights with one node in each one. And the light node is a square dumb. RGB light node that you find on HolidayCore.com. Well, the first thing you want to do is uh, create a base. So I just took a four-inch square electrical cover that has a punch out of a half inch. Now I could have used an electrical box. If you want to put it in an electrical box, that's fine. Do more permanent thing. But then you also need this um, half-inch flexible electrical conduit connector which uh, also comes in a bulk bag uh, at Home Depot. You put these two pieces together and that becomes your base. Then you put the the pathway light into the top of the electrical connector and I use a little soap to help it slide on but it's really tight fit so it really doesn't require glue or anything next step is to um, take the top assembly apart and take the lens and drill out this little thin um, piece of plastic that uh, for, uh, to, to allow you to uh, allow the wire to go from the top to the bottom of the uh, light fixture and you'll need a half inch drill bit for that once that's drilled out then we'll put a another polyurethane tube that's a half inch wide down into that um, that hole which is a tight fit you don't have to glue it and what this will do is it'll serve two purposes it gives you a way to hide the wires from the top going down to the bottom and also gives a way for the LED lights to reflect from the uh, center of the uh, light fixture and when you Put this plastic tube in it needs to be a little bit shorter than the top rim of the uh, the plastic lens in order for the wiring to um, uh, fit in properly and you won't be able to see the wiring anyway because most people will be standing up uh, looking at it anyway so here's this plastic tubing you get it at Home Depot comes in a 25 foot roll and it's uh, a half inch wide with a 3 8 inch inside di diameter. I'm using some plumbing plastic pipe cutters. The next thing you do is take the, the, the uh, solar uh, light out of the top assembly. It's two pieces to it, so to unscrew, unscrew two screws, you take all the light and the battery and the a little circuit board out of the top assembly because you won't need that. Then you'll have to grind this little round uh, ridge that's in the middle out of it so you have a flat surface to to put the square LED on. So this is where the other LED came through so that's what it looks like after you grind it down. And I just use hot glue to uh, glue the uh, square RGB light fixture to the top and run the wires down the pipe and of course you'll have to add some uh, RGB <coughs> four wire extension to those wires to make it to the bottom <coughs> then on the bottom I, I've added a RGB controller and I've got that one from Holiday Core as well with the they have a new version that has it 
the Cat5 connector on it, so it makes it real easy to connect uh, your pathway lights together. Then on the bottom, you have to wire in the uh, the light from the, the top to the controller, which is the red, green, and blue wires, and the black wire for the hot, in my case. And then I solder all of these wires, and I use heat sh shrink tubing. And of course, I use hot glue to hold all of that down. And that's what it looks like put together. And I'm using a, a three-way uh, RJ45 jack, which Holiday Core also sells, to connect the um, all of my... You'll need one for each one of your pathway lights. So I'm using about seven feet in between each one. Then I'm also using the DMX editor <coughs> from Holiday Core. And it makes it easy to set the starting addresses on your RGB controllers. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. It's one with blue light, red light. And I want to let you know I recorded this with a software package called Pixintel. So it takes pictures and lets you record over the pictures. So if you think it's a good software package or you see a use for it, i appreciate it if you purchase it. You can find it in the Apple Store for both iPad and iPhone. If you have any questions on uh, what we were doing here, just uh, send me an email. Thanks.